So the word congenital means that you're born with something. Diaphragmatic refers to the diaphragm muscle, which is the really large muscle that plays a major role in breathing between the chest and the abdomen. And hernia is just another word for a hole or a defect. And usually that means that the bowel is herniating or uh, has slipped into a space that it shouldn't be in. So congenital diaphragmatic hernia, putting all that together, means that a baby is born with a hole in their diaphragm through which the bowel moves from the abdomen into the chest. We don't really know why most babies who are born with a CDH has developed a CDH. For most babies, it's just occurred as a one-off event and we can't find out why a baby has developed it in the first place. What's really important to understand is that for most babies and families, it's not been caused by something the mother's done in pregnancy. It's not been caused by the father or the mother's history or the way they've looked, uh, or their health. It's not been caused by the age of the mother and it's not been caused by or affected by how many babies a mother's having or whether the baby's a boy or a girl. In Australia, survival rates are very favourable with 75 to 80% of babies with CDH who are born alive surviving. For most families, CDH is something they've never heard of when they're thinking of having a family and they hear about this at one of their ultrasound scans during the pregnancy. For some families, CDH may not be diagnosed in the pregnancy and they will find out about the condition when their baby develops respiratory or other problems after the baby's born. CDH treatment requires a multidisciplinary team approach using specialist obstetricians, newborn baby specialists called neonatologists and paediatric surgeons, as well as a large number of allied healthcare support people. And the treatment focuses on optimising the pregnancy so it is a baby can be born safe and healthy, managing the delivery so a baby can have breathing support as soon as they're born and then preparing a baby for surgery in the neonatal intensive care unit um, and after surgery supporting a baby as the heart and lungs and the baby overall is recovering from the surgery. CDH is treated by providing intensive care particularly around breathing and blood pressure support for the baby um, in the days to weeks after birth. Um, and usually towards the end of the first week of life, a surgeon will operate on the baby's chest, remove the bowel and put it back in the abdomen where it's supposed to be and sew up the hole or put a patch in. Um, and then the physicians or the doctors um, and nurses um, in intensive care will uh, recover the baby post that surgery and aim to have them home two to four weeks afterwards. So involving parents in the care of their baby is critically important to us and essentially it just means we want families to feel as welcome as possible. So whether that's by providing more comfortable chairs or parking vouchers, um, all the equipment that mothers need to express breast milk or by helping them learn how to engage at with their baby and depending on what their baby can cope with on that day. We want them to be parents and not just see themselves as NICU parents. For those babies who survive and go home, we expect an excellent outcome. Most babies will be just like every other baby when they have their first birthday and when they have every other birthday after that. They'll go to school with other children and they'll do all the things that other children will be able to do. There are some babies that have some issues, but for most babies we expect that they will do all of the things that they want to do in their life. Despite the fact that we expect all babies to do really well who go home from the NICU after being born with CDH, they do require specialist and closer care than other babies born in Australia. Typically, the surgeons will request that they have a chest X-ray every year and really the requirements thereafter are not set in stone. It's very dependent on what the family and the child need. After that, we like to follow babies up all the way through childhood until they become adults. And in most major hospitals in Australia, we would expect that there would be a CDH follow-up program, which will focus on how the babies are growing and developing, in particular watching development and nutrition, and focusing then as a baby gets older on how the heart and lungs are growing. Some babies will need more intensive follow-up than others, and that might include being followed up by a heart specialist if they have a high blood pressure in their lungs, which is a complication for some babies. 
Generally, we will perform pulmonary function testing when a child is in mid-childhood or early adolescence to try to understand how well the lungs have grown and prepare a, a child for early adulthood. We understand that this is going to be a disappointment for you and this is not what you want to hear. Um, but this is our bread and butter. We deal with this all of the time. There is a lot of expert care around for babies with CDH and we're really passionate about looking after them. We'll hold your hand throughout the journey as best we can and support you to be parents to your baby no matter what. Um, so have a lot of hope. Be aware that the journey is going to be tougher than it would be if your baby didn't have CDH, but know there's a lot of support out there, including from CDH Australia.